Hello YouTubers and welcome to my kitchen. The recipe we are making today is a custard based dessert of the haute cuisine. Bavarian cream. Light and airy, this cream is lightened up with whipped cream for the perfect consistency. Just follow my instructions. I love crema bavaroise. This is how we call it in, uh, in Greece. Bavarian cream, it's uh, one of the most fluffy air creams, uh, mousse you can have. Really, it's very easy to make. Just follow my instructions. In five minutes, it will be ready. Now, the first thing we have to do is to soak up our gelatin leaves. I want 10 grams in total. So please check the package of your gelatins to make sure that it's 10 grams in total. If it's more, then the Bavarian cream will be more stiff. If it's less, the Bavarian cream will be more runny. So I have my gelatin leaves here. I will put them in a tray. And for sure, I want to add some cold water. We want to soak them up for about three, four minutes until the rest of the ingredients are ready. And uh, we will add them to the very end. Now, I have here a pot and I will add my half sugar. The other half I will keep it. The milk and the cream. I want a pinch of salt. And of course, some vanilla extract. And the pot goes straight to the heat. Now, as you can see, I'm not stirring the mixer. This is why my friend like this. Why I'm not stirring the sugar with the cream and the milk and the vanilla? Because the sugar protects the milk from burning. So please do not stir at all the mixer. Make sure that the heat is uh, low, not so strong. And the milk with the cream will be at the proper temperature in about two to three minutes. Now, I want four egg yolks. Somehow it's um, Bavarian cream is a custard, but more thick and more airy. It's the best dessert to give pleasure to all your guests. Now I want four yolks here. And I will separate the yolks from the whites. I need the yolks for this recipe. But the eggs, I can use them to make a meringue, to make a nice uh, omelette after gym. So I have four yolks here. And I will add the rest of the sugar and I will take a whisk and I will make sure that immediately I will start whisking sugar with yolks. We don't want to leave the sugar on yolks for a long time without stirring because actually the sugar will burn the yolks and um, this is something we don't want because we will have an aftertaste of egg in our Bavaroas. Now, I'm whisking and as you can see, the sugar starts to dissolve and now I will take my mixer from here. As you can see, it's hot and I will add it gradually into my yolk mixture. This way, we'll make sure that we will not overcook the mixture. As you can see, the sugar is at the bottom of the pan. That's why it is protecting the milk and the cream from burning. And now, when I will put again the mixture to the pan, I can stir and I can dissolve the sugar. Easy cheesy. I want the mixer to reach about 85 degrees Celsius. So at this point, I can see that my mixer starts to become thicker. This way, we pasteurize the egg yolks, my friend Lucky. If we don't heat enough the mixer, then we'll have uh, raw egg yolks in our mixer. And this is something we don't want. Now, I will take off the heat and I will add my gelatin seeds after I squeeze them a little bit to take off all the excess water. And as you can see, the gelatin leaves now, they are quite soft and easily can dissolve into my mixer. If I put them straight away when they are dry, you cannot dissolve them. You will have the worst result ever. And make sure that the water is very cool because if it's hot, they will dissolve inside the water. Now, my gelatin seeds are completely dissolved. You can see that. And now I will take a big tray. And now I have to drop the temperature of the mixer. How I can do that? With a tray. 
As you can see, this looks like a creme anglaise with gelatin leaves inside. Actually, it's almost the same recipe. And now, before I add the whipped cream, I have to make sure that the mixer is not hot, because if it's hot and add the whipped cream, then what will happen, my friend, like this? The whipped cream will... I don't know the word for... Okay, so at this point, take a marise or a spatula, and start cooling down the mixer. If the tray is big enough, in three to four minutes, the mixer will be at room temperature and we will carry on the recipe. So, my mixer is ready. After three to four minutes, it's, uh, it's very cold. It's at room temperature. It's like almost taken out of the fridge. So, I will transfer my mixer here. And now, I will add gradually the whipped cream inside in three batches. And the first one will be sacrificed because we want just to make sure that it will dissolve inside the mixer with the spatula. I have some bits of whipped cream. I will make sure that it will completely dissolve. With the second batch, I will be more careful and I will do the procedure more gently. But with the third batch, I will be the most gentleman in the world. You have to be very careful because we don't want to lose this airy consistency of the whipped cream. We will lose some, but we don't want to lose it all. So, as you can see, I do that this way. And as you can see, I have this airy, lovely consistency in the mixer. Now, if you cannot do that with a spatula, you can do that with a whisk, but it's something that we don't prefer. If you do that with a whisk, then you have to be very, very quick. Do not over whisk the mixer because we will lose the volume of uh, the Bavaria's cream. Now, it's time to shape this bad boy. I have here a nice jar. Look at this. So creamy, so airy. And the only thing that's missing from this mixer right now is what? The Mr. Fridge. Uh, we have the gelatin seeds inside, so from the moment we put that in the fridge, the gelatin seeds will start working in the mixer and actually will make it solid, okay? Airy, but solid. This is the secret with this recipe. Now, I don't know, but I love pasty. Look at this. This is magical. This is something absolutely amazing. This is something very easy to make. And there is no excuses. If you want to make a nice dessert for somebody that you love, you have to do this one. Now, it's time for Mr. Fritz. You can have up to six portions with this mixer. And now I need somebody to help me. You know, I'm good enough to do that by myself. One, two, three. But I already prepared some for you. I need to, to come again. <laughs> because I have my fruits there also. One, two, three. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Bavarois cream. Crema Bavarois. In Greek, it's almost the same, but we're changing the order of the words. Now, I have some strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. You can add any fruits you like, or you can serve it as it is. Don't worry about everything else, because the cream is so sexy and so tasty that uh, everything else is not necessary. It's just for decoration. We have everything here. We don't need anything else. Absolutely stunning. Doesn't look like a normal custard cream. It's more sexy, more technical, more airy, more tasty. Everything is more. And I need some mint. Icing sugar. Come on, guys. This is a proper dessert for a very good restaurant. And let's taste this lovely Bavaroise. As you can see, you see the texture, it's so fluffy, so airy. Oh my God. If you try this dessert, probably, you can live with it for your rest of your life. It's amazing. So airy, so, so yummy. 
I want to see your comments under the video. Please subscribe, make comments under the video, share this lovely recipe with your friends, follow in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Viber, and TikTok. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bavaroise. Yes, sir. Mm.